Hey witches, how you doing today? Uh, we're gonna have some fun talking about candles, which is uh, one of my favorite tools and probably my most often used tool, candles, yeah. So for those of you who are new around here, my name is Taya, welcome to the channel where we talk about all things witchcraft and traditional witchcraft especially. And this is my lovely Luna, my co-host for the day, uh, Miss Luna Beans, who um, likes to just get up and get lots of love and snuggles. And for those of you who are returning viewers, maybe coming in from another video, welcome back. I appreciate the support. All of you, please consider subscribing. It's a really great way to help us build the channel. So candles, let's talk about candles. Um, basically, I will share with you my candles that I've made and then I will um, tell you how I do it. So you can make your own custom candles too. So the two I probably get the most commented on in my videos and such, Luna, you need to go down, is, uh, Sorry, I'm just gonna move myself so I'm not so susceptible to dog craziness. Is these two here in the front. This is my witch mother and my witch father candles. Um, and again, I've just made them myself. Uh, they are Yankee candles, both in, what are they, balsam cedar and meadow, meadow showers. So I kind of pick scents and colors that would sort of associate for me, which is always greens. And yeah, I basically, came home, they still got the candle on the back, but I made my own my own covers for them and put them on. And another set that I work with quite frequently, especially in my schooling, is uh, this set of custom candles that I created for, uh, this one is for Lucifer Cain. This one for Azazel Cain. This one for Coyo. And this one for Goda, who are all spirits I work with through the Red Thread Academy and that spiral castle, spiral castle tradition. Um, and I like to create my own candles. Just not, I don't make the candle, but I make all the labels and I can kind of customize it. So what I do is like these ones here are from the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. And they come with, they already come with a picture on them of a lot of them. They're, they're like Catholic images of Mary and Jesus and Mary. And I bring them home. I heat it up with a hair blower and then I just peel that label off. And then I'm left with just an empty candle. And then I go online and I find images that speak to me about that spirit or that deity or whatever I'm creating the candle for. You could even do it for like candle magic. If you were doing say like a seven day burn candle or something, you can create your own labels. And so I just go, I take the picture off the internet, I print it out at the size that I want. So for these ones, they were all like the same height. And then I put them onto, onto the actual candle. I just use a uh, packing tape, big reams of clear packing tape. So you can kind of see it you know, in, in the light here, but when they're burning in ritual, you don't even notice it. And that way I can create sort of candles for anything that I want. And I find, um, especially with like my spirit candles with my, um, sorry, my witch father, my witch mother candles, it just adds an extra layer of depth when I'm lighting that candle. It gives me something to, to picture in on, to visualize with. And it really just helps make, uh, my practice just a little bit more meaningful. So yeah, it's really simple. You can create your own custom candles for anything you want. You could even do labels for like little candles if you wanted to do like, you know, a shorter spell or something. You just wanted a smaller candle. It doesn't have to be huge, but you can decorate your candle holders, right? If you, maybe you want to burn through, you burn through a lot of smaller tea light candles or something, but you want to make like a, a holder for protection or love or abundance or whatever you want to bring in for it right and then you can always just switch the candle out but you've got the intent with the candle holder itself or you can do it with these like actual jarred candles and what i do is once these are done and they've burnt down i actually repour them so i get my original set and i use them and then once they're done and they're all burnt down or at a point where i can't you know burn them anymore I'll go ahead and I just heat them up. I usually just stick them in the microwave, honestly. Uh, melt down some of that wax, pour it all out, clean it out, and then I will go and I buy new wax and I melt it down and re new wax and wicks and I reset it and just reuse those candles over and over again. So it's just kind of a fun little extra I like to add into my practice. It makes it a little bit more personalized, a little bit more like custom. Um, so yeah, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. But otherwise, yeah, those are my 
favorite tools, my custom candles for witchcraft. All right. Thanks so much, you guys. That's our video for today. We'll catch you in the next one. Mwah. Thanks so much.